how much measurement risk remains in our process after achieving a 4 to 1 TUR. Current industry assumptions are that a 4 to 1 TUR is a recipe for maximum confidence with minimal decision risk. The process measurement is always centered. We are going to disprove these assumptions by showing the true risk associated with a 4 to 1 TUR as well as discuss why the location of the measurement matters. Let's start with traditional logic using a 4 to 1 TUR. The process is perfectly centered and the measured value is 1000 with a tolerance specification of 0.1% of full scale. If the process never moved from this location, calibration intervals could be set in decades and the measurement risk is trivial. The graph shows normally distributed data. There's a lower tolerance limit to the left and an upper tolerance limit to the right. Now the measurement location of the process has moved. Many would consider the location well within tolerance and perfectly safe. However, when considering the new location, measurement risk may no longer be trivial. The area of the distribution beyond the tolerance limit is 5.8%. At this point, measurement risk is process risk, and there's a 5.8% chance you're calling something good when it is bad. This is noted by a CPK of 0.533. CPK? What is CPK? CPK is a statistical tool to measure the ability of a process to produce output within tolerance specification limits. A CPK in the production world of 1.33 would mean 0.0063% of parts would fail. This is typically referred to as adequate. In metrology, a CPK of better than 0.667 at 95% confidence is considered acceptable. Here's another 4 to 1 TUR example. We've moved the measured value in this scenario to 75% of the tolerance. This 4 to 1 TUR table is showing that if we want to minimize our risk, we're going to need to shrink our acceptance limit to 75.5% of the tolerance. The area outside of the tolerance is 2.275%. CPK is 0.667. The overall measurement risk is less than 2.5%. The probability of falsely accepting the measurement result is 2.275%. Most in metrology working with a 95% measurement confidence interval want to achieve a result with less than 2.5% single-sided risk. Here we have a TUR table showing 95% measurement confidence. The table shows the lower and upper limits where a measured value must fall between to limit the risk to 2.5% on each side. Let us assume a 1 to 1 TUR looking at a perfectly centered measurement. There is little to no room for any variation in the process measurement. Making a conformity assessment with a 1 to 1 TUR almost always requires the measured value to have no bias. In this case, if the measurement is not perfect, there will be more than 2.5% single sided risk. Ways to limit your measurement risk. Selecting a calibration supplier that offers the smallest measurement uncertainty. Continual improvement of the calibration process. Utilizing the appropriate reference standards. Calculating measurement risk with respect to the location of the measurement. CPK is a great tool.